Engineering is the art and science of finding innovative solutions to complex challenges, transforming abstract ideas into tangible results that enhance the quality of life for people and communities worldwide. At Louisville MSD, our engineers bring a diverse range of skills and expertise to every project. Together, we are focused on a single mission, ensuring safe, clean waterways for our community. Our work ensures that the rivers we enjoy today and the ecosystems we rely on will continue to thrive for future generations. The Ohio River, the lifeblood of Louisville, is essential to the city's economy, wildlife, and of course, to the people who live here. Combined sewer systems that convey wastewater and stormwater flows are embedded in historic communities all over the country, often built more than 150 years ago. When it rains, the pipes can become overwhelmed and overflow to creeks and streams, escaping the normal water quality treatment process. In a typical year, 6.5 billion gallons of untreated water would spill into local waterways, creating environmental and health risks. Over the past two decades, engineers at Louisville MSD have implemented numerous projects to address combined sewer overflows. And when some visionary thinking and creative problem solving came together, an innovative solution arose, the Waterway Protection Tunnel. As engineers, it's important to acknowledge and consider solutions that address risks associated with public impacts and acceptability, even when they can be complex and difficult to quantify. The underground tunnel, stretching four miles long and 200 feet below the surface, offers an innovative solution. The $201 million project provides up to 55 million gallons of storage, all while remaining invisible to the public. We've been going along with that project. We have uh, constructed many uh, storage basins, but when we got to our final four basins, they were located in or around downtown. And then to connect the sewer system to those basins, we're gonna have to tear up Main Street uh, probably for several months, if not a year, and basically close down most of Main Street. We had thought about putting a tunnel in uh, several years before. Uh, we didn't do that because, well, we, we didn't know about the affordability. We didn't, it was a newer technology at the time, and we we're really concerned about, is it, was this the right decision for our community? What we learned was that it was affordable now. So technology had changed in the tunnel industry. Uh, there was new contractors on board, new engineers on board, and we learned all that. But one of the big things that we learned from that was that when we build sewer systems, we're typically five feet, maybe 30 feet in the ground, but we learned that the tunnel was probably gonna be 200 feet underground. So that was like, that was a big wow factor for us. We're gonna be 200 feet under the ground with an asset. That's something that we had never done before. The Waterway Protection Tunnel is the result of Louisville MSD's commitment to water quality and compliance with a federal consent decree with the Environmental Protection Agency. Although CSOs will continue to exist, consent decree solutions minimize the impacts of these overflows to meet Clean Water Act standards. By its completion, MSD expects to invest more than $2.2 billion in the consent decree program solutions for the community. With so much riding on these decisions, thoughtful planning and holistic vision for how each phase works together is essential. Since every rainfall event has different distribution and depth, a model design store must be set to compare progress. MSD's combined sewer system projects are developed for a defined typical year storm series. So planning for consent decree compliance is very complex. We have a detailed hydraulic model. It has 470 miles of pipe. It has 14,000 manhole points in the system, pump curves, land use factors, operational assumptions. We use all of this information to create uh, a representation of our system in order to see how it will behave both in normal dry weather conditions and when it rains in that system. Capturing these combined sewer overflow volumes is, is huge. Nearly a half a billion gallons of diluted wastewater flow would otherwise be impacting our waterways. That has a, an array of impacts. Environmental, of course, um, socioeconomic, um, and so, so these solutions are able to, to benefit the community and quality of life. We also wanted to address risk and risks that were short-term with construction impacts, risk uh, for 
for long term and, and what the most beneficial use would be um, for the community long term. Before any construction could begin, the first step was to understand what lay beneath the surface. To get a clear picture of the underground environment and determine the best route for the tunnel, a series of core samples were taken, giving vital information about the rock layers and conditions below, ensuring the tunnel would be safe and stable. In a perfect world, you'd just be point A to point B, a straight line, but, but that's not the case. The design team does a lot of geotech investigation to determine what's below the ground. For starters, we will look at existing borings. So what we call borings are actually holes that are drilled into the earth, and we retrieve all the soil and rock samples to test them. If you look at a circle, the stresses around the circle are uniform and stable, which keeps the circle, uh, makes the circle one of the most stable structures. So that's why most tunnels are circular in shape. The problem is the rock that you're drilling the tunnel in is not ho uh, homogenous. It's got bedding planes, it's got fractures, dips. That's what compromises the integrity of your tunnel. There were several challenges that we encountered during the investigation phase. So one was the rock formations themselves. When we went uh, about 150 feet uh, deep, we found a layer called the Waldron Shale. So to shed some light, most of the rock here is either dolomitic or limestone, which is good hard rock and a uh, good medium for tunneling. Uh, but we did find this Waldron Shale layer, which is not ideal uh, for rock tunneling. So that was number one. Second, our uh, calculations showed that there was going to be water inflow into the tunnel. So that was going to be a second challenge. Not a huge challenge, but a challenge nonetheless, and we addressed it in our design documents. So the cool factor is that when you go down and you actually find fossils, and not only fossils, we found pyrite and all these different minerals. Uh, it, it's just uh, an awe uh, moment for uh, the workers. After the planning and sampling, MSD brought in a tunnel boring machine, affectionately named Bumblebee, as a nod to Louisville native Muhammad Ali's famous phrase, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. The 22-foot diameter cutter head would knock out the rock, depositing it onto a conveyor belt to be removed from the tunnel. Once Bumblebee was fully assembled below ground, and we went through some acceptance testing to make sure it would function properly, it began its four-mile long journey across Louisville. The way it operates is the cutter head rotates parallel to the face and has 19 cutting discs which rotate perpendicular to the face of the tunnel. Uh, those work by applying pressure to the face of the tunnel uh, to shear off the rock in front of it. Uh, Bumblebee has a series of hydraulic legs and arms which help propel it forward. The arms reach out and grip the side of the tunnel on the rock. Uh, the legs will retract up into the machine and hydraulic cylinders push the arms forward so the rock can be excavated. After the extension of the arms fully, the legs uh, extend down to the ground to support the weight of the machine, and then the arms are retracted and reset so it can begin again. Excavation of the four mile long tunnel was tedious work. At approximately 55 feet per day on average, it took us about 24 months to excavate the full length of the tunnel. Once the tunnel was completed, it became a key part of Louisville's combined sewer management system. It collects a mix of stormwater and wastewater from 24 CSOs, preventing overflows into our creeks and streams. After the storm passes and there's capacity at our treatment plants, the water is pumped to the Morris Foreman Water Quality Treatment Center for processing, ensuring it's treated before being safely released back into the Ohio River. For Louisville MSD's water protection tunnel is probably the highlight of my career to date. I had allowed myself as well as my team to experience a project that is the first time uh, being constructed in the Commonwealth of Kentucky for depth and size uh, for an infrastructure project. And knowing that that's something that I've, I've been a part of, I feel a lot of pride in that, knowing that I had something to do with it. The Waterway Protection Tunnel does so much more than protect our waterways. Part of the land above the tunnel near the pump station was gifted to the city to expand Waterfront Park which currently serves more than 2.4 million visitors per year. We had been in communications with Waterfront Development about they wanted to do a phase four waterfront park in the same area. So we see it as a great opportunity to give back to the community. We, we'd like to have leave behinds on some of our bigger projects. So our leave behind here was, we'll gift you this land and then 
they said, well, hey, you know, your building's gonna be a big part of that too, you know, because typically our designs are brick building. We decided on this job, we were gonna do some cool stuff with this building. Some of the things that we did, we put a uh, metal facade on the outside of the building that naturally rust. We also put lights on the building. Um, and these are LED lights. They can, they have an unbelievable number of colors. We do green for St. Patrick's Day. We do red for heart awareness. Uh, we do pink for cancer awareness. So it's, it really looks nice. It's probably one of the nicest structures that we have in our system as far as a building goes. Knowing that we have a facility in that park uh, that serves as a, a bookmark or a bookend and as an award-winning facility. Every time we drive past it, my kids probably get tired of it, but I get to point out that I helped build that. In the first 16 or 18 months, uh, the tunnel had collected over 500 million gallons of water. That's 500 million gallons of dirty water, which would have been discharged to the river that's now being cleaned. Um, so it does give you a, a, um, a lot of satisfaction. There's a huge sense of pride in being able to impact our, our community and benefit the environment and really um, shaping uh, water, water quality and how folks interact with the environment around them. This is a generational project. This thing is not going away. It's in solid rock, concrete line. So um, it's just exciting to see that you're building something like that to do so much benefit for the community and our creeks and streams. For Louisville MSD, the Waterway Protection Tunnel represents the best of what visionary thinking can achieve. It's a project that protects our waterways now and will continue to well into the future. The Waterway Protection Tunnel. Nearly five years of construction, four miles long, 18 stories below ground. A $201 million investment to capture up to 497 million gallons of sewer overflow in a typical year. MSD's engineering solutions have created sustainable benefits, which will improve the quality of life for the people of Louisville for generations to come. <laughs>